Hey there and welcome. Today we're going to go ahead and set up your third party integration with ClickFunnels 2.0. So at this point, you've already integrated your uh, third party autoresponder. And if not, you can do so in this workflow as well. So let's uh, continue here. So we're going to go ahead and go to funnels. Okay. And so you've got a funnel set up, hopefully. If not, you can go ahead and create a funnel real quick. I'm going to go ahead and use this one here. And we'll see, we have our funnel steps. And on the right hand side, we've got this lightning bolt. I'm going to go ahead and click that. You can see I've got some existing workflows here. And let's go ahead and create a new workflow if you don't already have one. And we'll give it a name. Next, we're going to determine the trigger. So for example, opt-in, you may want to set yours as an order, depending on if it's a sales funnel or a lead magnet funnel. So I'll go ahead and create this workflow. Okay. So now we're inside the new workflow. We can click here to add a new step and we're going to go ahead and select third party integration. So you may select the third party integration you want to integrate now, if you don't have one set up already. Um, but if you have one set up, go ahead and click on it. I'm going to use get response here. Next, I'll go ahead and click on the integration, select next. I'll select the action I want. So your list might look different depending on the autoresponder, but you'll be able to go ahead and select the option that makes the most sense to get them into your segment or your group list or tag to then trigger that autoresponder sequence that you're building over there in your integration. So next I'll select the list or tag or group, depending on your integration. And you can see here, they've got a list of integrations, um, fields, I should say, sorry. And over here we've got ClickFunnels field. So these are fields that are on ClickFunnels pages. So we've got email, we've got name. So depending if you're using the first name field, full name, etc. And go ahead and select the proper one there. And there's a whole list of other options you can use to select. Um, and for now, I'm going to go ahead and click next. So once you're done selecting your fields and mapping those, you can continue here with me and we'll go ahead and save. Okay. And so now we've successfully connected a workflow and a third party autoresponder. Next, we'll need to go ahead and click on this status to set this live to enable the workflow. And we want to enable. And there you have it. So now if I opt in on that opt in page, I will be sent over into get response. And if I have a autoresponder sequence in that uh, service, it will continue to get sent out as planned. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and have a great day.